a pause while we work with the tunnel. Power Word Publications and Muddy Horse Coaching demonstrate using positive reinforcement then slicing the tunnel obstacle showing the steps we took to build enduring confidence. Here I've got the frame of the tunnel and a mat and I'm just asking Boots to go target the mat with her foot and she got a click in a tree. Now the mat's inside the tunnel structure click and treat. We do each of these until she gets a confident response. She gives a confidence response each time and she's standing there for a while just getting the feel of the place. Now I've got it a little bit further into the tunnel frame and she's quite confident just standing there under the arches. Then I ask her to walk right through and you can see the mats a little further out. Remember we do each of these variable a number of times until it's solid. Now we're going through the other direction with the mat beyond the tunnel frame. Then we're trotting out of the tunnel and still heading to the mat. Each time we hit the mat we have a click and treat. Now I've asked her to go right through and I'm asking her to do a circle around me going through the tunnel each time. I want her to be confident trotting through the tunnel in both directions because thro trotting through the tunnel together is the actual task we're working toward. Now we're walking through the tunnel together. It's not very high and it's not very wide so it's a little bit claustrophobic in there. At least I felt claustrophobic. Maybe more so than the horse. So we want to get comfortable walking in either direction. And we're going to try jogging through and we manage to jog through the tunnel click in a treat once we get out the other side jog through in the other direction click and treat when we get to the other side then I've decided to put one side onto the tunnel and you notice she's at liberty I'm letting giving her plenty of time just to go and stand there she stood there much longer than I've shown I've cut most of the standing there out but she had a really good look and think about it and then I asked her to come through with me at liberty. So although we had gone with halter and rope before, I've put her back into liberty here. If she wants to bolt away, she can bolt away. It won't matter at all. So we're just walking around in a loop, coming back. Now I've put it on the other side and we've gone back to halter and rope because that'll be what we need to do for the final for the final thing. Now we've got two sides on and we're just walking through. Click in a treat for walking through. Well maybe not quite yet. We did a turn around and walk through the other way first. Once a horse gets more confident your clicks and treats spread out more. We managed to trot through there, that was excellent. And we managed to trot through the other way. So remember you do each of these things until it's good. Now we've put the top on the tunnel and I think she's at liberty there and she's just going over to have a really good look. I'm just letting her stand and have a really good look. Her confidence has been good so far so there's no real reason for her to be really worried now but it is quite low and so I've been standing over there waiting and I gave her a tiny little walk forward signal because I thought maybe she thought she was parked. Once she can walk through on her own quite comfortably I went to see if we could walk through together she found that a bit claustrophobic so I just walked through myself and called her through that was really good. Clicking a treat for coming through all by herself. We're just going to walk forward and we're going to see if we can walk through together without the hesitation. This is the first time she really found it difficult but that time she didn't hesitate too much at all. So by the time I get this working nicely 80% of the time I feel I can move on. 
So each of these slices or steps, if you're getting it right about 80% of the time, then you probably should move on to the next piece. But you can see here she's still not confident. So she's not really ready to move on yet. And eventually, a little bit of cajoling, she comes through. And every time we get a nice go through, she earned herself a click and a treat. Now I'm asking her to circle. I'm standing just out of range there. I want her to get confident walking through and trotting through. That was nice. So she got a click in the tree. You can see she's still a little bit hesitant. She's smiling at me there saying, what shall we do now? I say, just walk on through. So here's a point where we have to spend quite a bit of time on this slice. As soon as the roof went on, it was a big parameter, a big parameter change for her. So she's willing to trot up and she's carefully walking through. She's trotting up, giving her a little bit of an energy, and she's trotting right through. Clicking a treat for that. And she's trotting through again, but no, not totally confident. So that gives me the clue that I need to stay with this for a little bit longer. So she's really comfortable trotting through because I'm going to be having to trot through with her so I want her to be totally comfortable trotting through by herself. Yeah, asking her to trot. Click in a treat when she trots through. Trotting the other way. Yes. Now I'm more running with her rather than sending her in a circle which is an easier way to keep her energy up. So I'm running along with her because soon I'm going to have to be in the tunnel with her. And now we're going to try and walk through together in this direction. And you can see again, she's hesitant to come in there with me. So I go through. And I was going to join her and go again, but then she followed through. So that was fine. It was her idea, so that was good. So we're walking around. And I'm going to see if she'll walk through with me. And that time she did, and we even jogged out. I think it was her idea to jog out, so I went with her. Now I'm going to ask her to jog through again. And I would have preferred to spend several more days getting this right. You can see she's still dubious. But being end of the month, I probably went faster than I should have done to get her totally confident. So jogging through again. And we're going through together. You can see, no, I'm not quite sure that there's room for both of us in there. And that's okay. I never want to make the horse feel wrong. She's telling me that she's not feeling confident. So we had a pause. We had some think time. She had another little chew. Another look at it. And then I just said, walk on through. And she did. That was fine. She's still at liberty, so she can take off and go do something else if she wants to. So I'm just going back to give her confidence, and we came through together. And a little, little chug through, and she's still not confident going at a faster pace. That's okay. She's saying, what's going on here? What should we do now? She's really still interested. <laughs> it's a big smile. What's going on? So she's not totally confident in herself that there's room for both of us in there. And that time, yep, she hesitated and then she came through. And interestingly, that's exactly what she did when we did the test. And a bow for a job well done.